G'day everyone and welcome to another exhibition highlight video. Today we'll be taking a look at the exhibition that was held in Melbourne over the Easter long weekend in 2022. That was the Diamond Creek Model Railway Exhibition, which was presented by the Yarra Valley Model Railway Club. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with more videos just like this coming in the future. Anyway, let's take a look at what was on show. This exhibition was held at the Community Sports Centre in Diamond Creek with about 50 or so layouts and traders. The Victorian N-Scale Collective layout, Laidlaw. Although this is not a model of a real location, Laidlaw is a representation of the typical railway scene in rural Victoria. The sweeping curves and open countryside featured in this layout are major benefits of modelling in N-Scale. The layout consists of several separate modules built by various members of the Victorian N-Scale Collective and are either owned by individuals or the club. They are built to an Australian standard called Austrack, making them interchangeable and allowing the layout to expand or reduce as required. The Australian Japanese Model Railway Group are a group of model train enthusiasts in Melbourne collecting and modelling railways of Japan. Their modelling work is mostly Japanese N scale and their group uses modular standards based on Kado track. They meet regularly once a month in Melbourne and also exhibit at railway exhibitions around Victoria. I really like the detail on this little N scale layout. The 1890s fish market, an O-scale layout depicting a building that was once on the corner of Flinders and Spencer Street in Melbourne CBD, which had a short switching line to take produce from there to the docks and vice versa. This layout has excellent detail and for a really, really simple layout, it shows just some of the possibilities that you can do with O-gauge in such a small amount of space. HO scale layout, Murray Bridge, based on the actual location at Murray Bridge, where the railway line between Melbourne and Adelaide passes over the mighty Murray River. The model of this bridge has been built as close as possible to scale and consists of three through truss spans and 14 plate girder sections, which span the flood plain. Built from a combination of kit bashed and scratch built structures, Scott tells me that this layout will undergo a bit of a refurb a bit later this year and I can't wait to see what's next. I really like this layout as you get to watch some big long trains pass through a really nice bit of scenery. I can't wait to see him add a switching layout down below the bridge.
Grosvenor Street, a HO Victorian themed micro layout. This layout's excellent. There's constant movement on it from switching with small shunting locomotives. It's excellently detailed in that it also isn't a flat piece of board. It's got some depth to it where the front kind of comes away into a small creek area. And yeah, it's really, really well presented and a really, really great example of how to build a small layout with fantastic detail in a small amount of space. One of my favorite layouts from the day. Also with a large footprint, the Beachy, which has been featured a few times on this channel, although this time it was probably the biggest I've ever seen it. This has been produced as a modular layout by the members of the Sunbury Model Railway Club. The name comes from the Victorian Railway's two foot six inch gauge branch line, which ran south from Colac to Jellybrand, Beach Forest and Crows. However, the model did not represent any specific location on that line. The line climbed through the Otway Ranges with usual tight curves and steep grades of the Victorian narrow gauge tracks. A really, really beautiful layout.
Melbourne L-Gage Train Club is a team of dedicated LEGO and train fans that are committed to designing, building and presenting some of the largest and most amazing LEGO train layouts in the Southern Hemisphere. Each of their members spends countless hours creating and contributing to the layout, including, but not limited to, buildings, bridges, landmarks, dioramas, and of course, brick-built trains and rolling stock. When they put it all together, they create and innovate detailed layouts that will amaze dedicated LEGO and train fans around Victoria. This layout did have one of the biggest footprints at the exhibition, although it is a big crowd favorite. Billabong Flat depicts the end of a branch line in a very remote part of Victoria. The layout is designed to fit in the back of a car and shows what can be achieved by modelling an end scale in a small space. They mostly feature Victorian railways in the early 1970s. This New South Wales layout, modelled on Kalkan in rural New South Wales, a town about 40 minutes north of the Victorian New South Wales border on the main line to Sydney. This layout features modern Australian end scale locomotives available in both ready to run and kit form. Mark began building this layout in 2017, and this work in progress layout uses T track standards with some slight modifications to allow for extra town and scenery. All structures are scratch built and you can follow Mark on Instagram at Kulkan underscore N underscore scale. The Valley is a vibrant European layout presented by the Latrobe Valley Model Railway Club, set in a busy town at the base of the Alps. Trains run on two levels and trucks through the streets. You'll see all types of European locos and rolling stock, as well as many other prototypes. This layout did have some fun little quirks on it, and members of the club were extremely proud of what they had to present.
Apple Cove is a 1 in 48 scale freelance layout completed during the recent lockdowns by Peter Kendall. The O and 30 track represents 30 inch wide narrow gauge rails used by many railways during the first half of the 1900s. This layout is inspired by the life and times of Joshua Appleby and his journey from Northern California to the small coastal hamlet in Southeast Tasmania. The layout incorporates a small township, a cider vinegar factory, the growers co-op, waterfront scenes and a decaying mansion. The Pico O scale narrow gauge track on this layout is the same width as HO or double O track, but uses one and 48 scale sleepers. The locomotives and rolling stock are mainly from the Backman O and 30 range. Joshua Appleby's full life story is detailed as part of the exhibit. Derby is an O-scale layout based on British practice. This point-to-point -point shunting layout is in a setting of stone retaining walls with a hint of English countryside. This diorama of 1990s Paran Railway Station by Trangirl, who has a range of signs available, was a nice throwback to a 90s Melbourne that I can very vividly remember. So that was all the layouts of the exhibition. There were one or two more, but unfortunately I just didn't get enough footage. Now we also had traders at this large exhibition, a big stand from SDS and Phoenix Reproductions with some new products on display, which I did cover in the monthly Australian Model Railway News. These really impressive signals from San Mato, who do kits of Victorian and South Australian searchlight signals, as well as upper and lower quadrant signals and New South Wales colour light signals. There were secondhand traders, 
Matt from Roundhouse Boxes had his store there with some new storage boxes for sale, as well as kit manufacturers like Section 8 and Veteran Models, plus IDR Models, Linden's Trains, and many more. So for those looking to add some new or used railway stock for their model railway, there was lots there to choose from. So that was the exhibition and it was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed my day there. I actually wish I'd gone back for the second day um, and really gotten some more footage and spent some more time looking at the really, really excellent layouts that were on display. Now, if you're interested in going uh, to next year's exhibition as this is an annual exhibition, I will leave all the appropriate description links down below for the Yarra Valley Model Railway Club, as well as my links. If you watch my Model Railway News video in that video towards the end, there is me talking about, well, the upcoming exhibitions. So once again, subscribe because in those videos, I tell you when these exhibitions are announced so you can save the date for, well, so you can go. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, let me know your feedback on it. What was your favorite layout? Uh, for me, it was probably Fish Market. I think that was really, really nice to see. Big O scale layout, um, although not taking up a large footprint. I think that was something really, really nice. Easy runner up would be Murray Bridge. That I really like the simplicity of that layout. One track and the way, you know, got some iconic trains going across it. And I'm really interested to see where that layout goes in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all at another exhibition really, really soon. Hey, Ru.